All right, real quickly, before we get into the video, these are the mods that I am using for this series, uh, all the ones with the check marks. None of these mods are required uh, to play the map Lone Oak Farm. Um, all these mods here will be in the description. All the ones that I am using should be in the description. Um, I'm using the Seasons mod, which will be great, but without further ado, let's get right into oh, it. Oh, man. So this was my grandfather's farm, huh? Man, he had uh, quite a place for himself, honestly. Man, look at that combine and some other stuff sitting in the field here. Man, this is going to be a great year. Let's see the inside of his house. Well, I wonder, wonder what all this stuff looked like. Welcome, everybody, to Farming Simulator 17. After fighting myself a little, I have decided that I'm going to start a Farming Simulator series. Um... The problem is, is that this series does get a lot of abuse IRL. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn up the volume real quick so that, like, FS17 doesn't absolutely, like, kill itself. Or, well, let's keep it at 40% for right now. There's that. Still able to see everything? Perfect. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, after fighting myself a little, I have decided that I am going to start a farming simulator series. You see, this series gets very much abused on my channel by IRL people, real life people, um, who don't actually watch my channel. Uh, they will come to me and make fun of this series and everything. Um, they don't actually watch the channel at all. Uh, so, yeah, after fighting myself, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to ignore them. They don't even watch the channel anyway, so what do I care? Um, but yes, let's get right into it. As you can see here, we have some equipment laying about, and I guess this was my grandfather's equipment, as unfortunately he has passed away, and he has given us his farm here in Oregon, which is called Lone Oak Farm, is what he called it. We got some combines, some trailers, I think that's a cedar, maybe a cultivator too, bale trailer I'd imagine, a uh, grain trailer probably. Last I heard from him, he said he wanted to uh, make some cattle uh, on the farm and see how that was working as his farm had always been agricultural seems like he's got some other tractors he's been leaving here probably for workers or something some older tractors and so we got a few barns there maybe we should also look in there do we got anything in here oh yes we do a cultivator or a plow i think yes that that uh that will be very helpful to us later we got a disc bind i didn't know he was always this modern i know he's always talking about you know uh, older equipment was working better, but then he got talked into buying some new equipment, so I guess this is some of his new equipment. And oh yes, this baler, I remember. I thought he was sending me the old pictures as the baler here. Let's see what else we got coming down here. Anyways, I'm sorry, maybe this roleplay is absolutely stupid. I do apologize if it is stupid in advance. Looks like we got a windrower, a tether, massive semi-trailer here for grain. We got a massive field here that looks like we own. I think uh, field 35 this is. Man, he had quite a place for himself. But yes, that is the story. Basically, this is our grandfather's farm. He has left us some money um, after he died from a trust account. He left us some money. And now we are given the um, task of basically running the farm for him. Continuing the farm after he died so that the farm doesn't officially shut down. That's great. Very nice. Let's... Uh, Let's get some people working here. Um, I, I believe we never had that many fields. He had always managed to make enough money with the uh, few fields he had. Field 44, which are all hay fields, as you can see. All right, this, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that maybe my role play stuff is quite stupid, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's get some people working here real quick. But yes, this is our grandfather's farm and we are taking it over. As of right now, I will stop my annoying, uh, my annoying, um, my annoying roleplay um, attempts at roleplaying and trying not to be so, ah, well, let's just do this and being so like, you know, this is our farm, we purchased it. I don't know why I'm reversing. I guess this is just how we do it around here. We reverse our tractors. But yes, I do apologize. Don't worry, next video uh, will not be so, uh, will not have this long roll. Oops role play situation by the way i do apologize about the lag uh i am using open broadcaster to record today um which it, it takes me down about half of my frames uh usually i get 60 frames per second uh when playing this game which 
it seems though that Open Broadcaster is deciding to take down half of that. Did I say it? yes, 60 frames? Yes. I get 60 frames whenever I play this uh, normally without Open Broadcaster running. Uh, but with Open Broadcaster running, it seems that I am only running at about 30 to 40 frames per second, which as long as it's above like 33, well, 30 in general, uh, we're pretty good. But I do apologize about that. I will try to work with everything. Uh, the reason I am not recording with Fraps is because Fraps saves video files, especially on Farming Simulator, really big. Like 30 seconds in Farming Simulator will be about 50 gigabytes, not 50, more like 15 gigabytes, which is really big. 15 gigabytes for like 30 seconds is a lot. Um, Open Broadcaster, however, uh, saves video files very short, um, uh, like an hour might only be like 500 megabytes i know my live streams that i do you know some of the live streams that i do that are um, that were like two hours are only like a gigabyte with fraps they'd be like six thousand gigabytes just to put it into perspective for everyone so that that is why i am using a different recorder today and the video quality is down but i do apologize about that i am thinking about moving o over to open broadcaster uh temporarily uh for some time actually uh just because you know, uh, having to deal with my video recorder stopping 24-7 because, um, my video recorder stopping 24-7 because, uh, Fraps decided to save 30 seconds in 25,000 gigabytes. Because, yes, that is what Fraps did. And that is why I've never really got into a big series with this game is because the, the video file sizes would be so big. Like, I would have, I would have, like, just, I, like, I would have looked and I would have had, like, 200 gigabytes and 15 minutes would pass and the video would stop recording. And it'd be like, oh, what's happening? Why? Why are you not recording properly? Oh, I hope that's not going sideways. We doing good? Yes, I think we're doing just fine. We'll leave her to work. And then, let's see, we have the semi here. Let's drive the semi. Here. Um, so a few of the mods I'm working with, I am using my, the Seasons mod. There's our Seasons. I always like to look at the uh, clock there. I'm using course play. I do have a lot of courses already made uh, for this map. Uh, I'm also using Follow Me. Um, a lot of tractors, a few balers. There will be a lot of time lapsing in this game, though. A lot of time lapsing. Uh, I, I want to try to make uh, a little bit of like what Daggerwind does. Um, if any of you watch Daggerwind, he is a farming simulator uh, YouTuber who does mostly farming simulator and Euro Truck Simulator on his channel. I think I don't know how much of Euro Truck Simulator he does. I only watch his farming simulator stuff just because I really like the way he does his farming simulator stuff. I will have his channel in the description for you if you'd like to watch him. I do apologize, by the way, if I sound like I'm from Europe, <laughs> um, uh, or I'm using like an amplifier or something. Unfortunately, I got sick, and I'm losing my voice a little. I've been losing my voice since yesterday, so I, I do apologize. I actually started, I think, on Thursday. On Thursday, I started like losing my voice a little. Well, not really losing my voice, but I started getting like a sore throat, and then that night, I got a really massive sore throat, and then in the morning, um, everything was fine. And then I was at lunch with a few friends, and then I realized, hey, I can't talk. <laughs> um, and so then that's when they're like, you sound like you're from Europe. So yes, I, I do, have, do apologize if I don't sound like my normal self. And then you'd be like, wait a minute, you're not the normal old Mateo guy who runs his channel. Did he sell his channel to somebody? Because uh, who knows what. Um, let's see, what are we going to do? We have Field 29 to work on. Um, besides for field 29, we have field 45, which on the map looks like a hay field. However, it is not a hay field. Do not get that confused. Dude, I don't like my desktop audio being so low. I feel like I'm yelling now. Hold on one second. Let me just lower my microphone audio a little bit. There we go. I like it to get in the yellow at least. There we go. Uh, this is field 45, right? Uh, yes, field 45. I will not be using this field. Um... This field is a pain in the butt to work on, which is why I wish I could sell fields. I would sell this field immediately if I could. Um, it's such a pain to get cut and uh, specifically cultivated. Um, cultivated and plowed and everything and seeded that I'm just going to leave that field and ignore it completely. We are going to move over to some fields. 
Uh, my plan is field 34, 32, 33, maybe 28. We're going to get, uh, I do a plan that we're going to get most of the fields in the southern part of the map, like field 49, 51, 53, and 52. Uh, 52 is a grass field. It is very, very small, uh, a very, very, very tiny grass field. Um, this is from the Massey Ferguson pack, these tractors here, um, which, like, I don't know, it said, like, the old, old Massey Ferguson stuff or whatever, which is exactly what that Massey Ferguson baler came with as well. Um, just to show you the shop a little bit of what I have, my mods. Uh, you can see Mac Massey Ferguson pack, which most of these mods are available on Mod Hub. Both of these mods I got from Mod Hub as well, as well as this one. These three I got from another site, and I don't remember which ones. Just maybe if you search up like the Simpma, Baylor or something, uh, Welger, Baylor with Thrower, you'll probably get that. Um, this mod, I believe I got off Mod Hub. I cannot remember, but I know you can find it on Mod Hub. Uh, these two I got from another site, just search up, like, Heston Round Baylor, and you'll probably find it. Uh, other than that, I have nothing really else in that category. Here, I have this one, which I'm not going to use any of these, really. Um, I'm not going to use these ones either. This one would be great if it could turn better, but unfortunately, this has a really bad turning radius. It's a cool mod, great mod, amazing, and it's really old and stuff like that. Would have loved to use it in this series. Unfortunately, just the turning mechanics on it are pretty bad. Uh, no offense to the mod creator uh, by any means. It is a great mod, but for what I want to use it for, um, it's not really... Well, okay, let me re-explain. The turning mechanics are great, uh, but for the fields that I have in this map, it would be very difficult to use it because it can't turn very well. Um, but yes... Uh, I do have these. I'm not going to use it just because the size of the hay fields in this game. Uh, I do have this one, and I may or may not bring it. It depends on if the audio works properly. For some reason, on my other save where I'm using this, the audio will go to other tractors. So, for example, I will move a quite a distance away, and when I have a worker working with this, uh, working with this windrower, uh, you will hear it like all the way on the other side of the map, which is kind of weird. I don't really. I'm not. It, I don't know what caused it to break. It wasn't doing it before. Um, uh, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Um, as far as tractors go, the only real tractors I'm using is the Massey Ferguson tractors. I have nothing really else that's too exciting for that. Uh, Misk. We are going to buy this. We need to buy this. Um, basically, what this does is it basically allows you to measure and see the growth of your field in a little bit more of a realistic manner. Um, if I just go over to the grass field up here, um, we will take our cultivator while we're at it. Because uh, I'm going to need the cultivator to cultivate field number 29. I'm not sure how long I've been recording. I do think that this episode will be a little longer than usual. Uh, just to get like a little bit of a starting episode out. Um, but uh, I do plan to do a lot of time lapsing. A lot like what Daggerwind does just because... A lot of the work in this game is very tedious, and some people might get kind of bored of me just going around and around and around. Uh, but yes, this is what this little wobster thing does, is it basically allows you to see the humidity in the field, the water level, the growth level, which is this one. So for example, the grass is currently 33% grown. You can see it is grass, and the moisture is 15%, and then the elevation and the la longitude, latitude stuff, um, which is pretty good. We are in summer, therefore we need to get our stuff to work. Um, these two fields will be used for course play. Course play mowing. Unfortunately, these two fields are so tedious. It took me, like, at least three hours, uh, when I was making the course play for these, just to cut them. And raking them and bailing them takes forever. So in total, it took me, like, literally, I don't know how long I was playing this game for. I probably maybe six hours in total just working with these two fields, which is why we're going to use course play. Um, because it's so tedious that it, I don't want to have to wade through it. There's so much more we could be doing rather than having to go around and around and around on these fields. Uh, field number 14, um, field number 11, and then there are a few fields, a field just right of field 15 and just under field 7. There is no number there. It's kind of like a universal field. Uh, we will be using that one as well. Uh, as well as the field just right, uh, just above field 14, and to the right, uh, no, to the left of that field above field 14, which is really complicated. 
Um, I don't expect you to actually understand what I'm saying right now. Uh, I will just uh, warp myself over there real quick and show you exactly what I'm talking about because, you know, obviously I'm a very, uh, yeah, very, uh, very bad at explaining. Um, we'll just come across here real quick, just hop the fence, you know, and do some illegal, wor uh, 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 illegal words, that's what I'm looking for. Illegal actions here. Um, the Seasons mod makes this place look very barren, but don't worry, when summer hits, this whole area will be living with life. Everything will be green and everything, uh, which is great, that's why I love the Seasons mod. Unfortunately, there are too many things to do in this, this, um, well... There's too many things to do in this map with too little time. Eventually, what ends up happening in this mod, or in this map, you end up going here and shutting off plant growth, um, which is a, a little problematic, uh, especially if you are... Um, if, if you want to play realistically, because there's not enough time to cut this field before the field starts growing again. So this here is field 14. I have connected the field via this little passageway here to this field, which is not numbered. And then I've also connected it uh, via that little connection right there, which we cut twice. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, when we are cutting this field, if I just do some other legal actions here, we also cut this field here, which is not owned by anybody. We can just cut it uh, if you want to. Um, this field is a little bit of a problem and a little tedious to also do, but we'll see what we have to do. I'll probably just do those so that it's not like, oh, course plays running everything. Um, and then we also use this field, which is also a little tedious because it is right on the edge of the map. And I actually had to cut a little row. Let me just show you here. Where the map stops. Where the map stops, because, yeah, I'm losing my voice, and yeah. Um, the field stops... Where does the map stop? Right here. So you have to be very careful when you're making your AI because the AI will run into the wall if you are making your course plays incorrectly. So I had to actually cut a little pathway right here uh, so that the AI didn't run into the invisible wall that's here. Uh, but as you can see, it, it, the, the detail of the edge of the map is pretty good, like uh, how there's extra buildings over there that you really can't get to. There's a whole bunch of other farmland way over there you can't get to. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, there are a lot of fields here, as you can see. A lot of irregular shaped fields, which I kind of hate, but yes. It is summer, therefore everything is cultivated. Um, well, plowed. That will never be the case, always, as AI will sometimes plant fields in the middle of winter. Um, I don't know if I yet... I don't know if it's a mod. I might have to look. Uh, but I know that there is winter wheat, I think, if I was hearing Daggerman correctly. Um, if there is winter wheat, maybe we can plant it and grow it and all that good stuff. But I'm not 100% sure, so... Uh, well, we'll have to see. Maybe it doesn't even exist and he was just saying winter wheat for no reason, but... Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to leave you off with a course play here, and then I'm probably going to come back and end the episode. But I will see you in one...
Alrighty, and I have finished. Uh, minus a few minor spots here and there. This field actually was overall done very well. Uh, this is actually probably one of the cleanest fields I've ever cultivated as far as missing things. Uh, let me just fix a few of this, uh, few of the pieces that got left behind. Otherwise, I actually cultivated a very high, uh, percentage of this field. And I'm very, uh, surprised at everything that I had done within this field. Yeah? Hey, y'all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna park this little cultivator device here, which is actually, this is where you buy seeding. Um, there is another seed buying place, <laughs> uh, seed buying place, um, back at the farm, um, inside the little shed we were in, inside our big shed, our biggest shed that we own, um, which I'm thinking I'm also gonna move the small planter here as well, um, that, that's just what I'm planning to do here. Let's drive back to the farm, see what our, uh, fellow worker has done in the meantime. I must say one thing about this game. Fuel consumption is very, very high. Like, I'm literally constantly refueling this tractor specifically, especially on my other maps that I play uh, with this tractor. I love the tractor because it's open. There's no, like, glass around it. If you realize, Farming Simulator has no tractors, no open tractors. Do you see that? They all have, like, glass cabins, um, which is why I wanted to download a few of these. In real life, the farmers that farm on my field, are, uh, my fields in real life, actually have uh, open tractor, uh, like open cabin tractors like this. Let me show you a picture of one. Actually, this is at the field just outside my house that uh, the farmers farm on. Uh, we own that land, actually, so they, we kind of rent it out to them, you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is one of the uh, tractors. They have a uh, New Holland round baler um, with them. Uh, so yes, yes, that is one of the tractors, and yes, the forklift, uh, if you looked at the, uh, if you looked at the, um, if you looked at the, uh, tractor, and you looked at the front loader, and you noticed that it didn't have any front, yes, it is broken, um, I, I inferred it was broken, because they have, they have actually two of those John Deere tractors, uh, and the other one has, like, a massive, like, like, attachment device in the front, this one does not, so... Um, I, I, I inferred it was broken. I took that picture two years ago, three years ago, can't remember. No, it wouldn't have been last year. Last year, they didn't do our hay fields. They had to brush hog them. Um, they had to brush hog our hay fields, uh, last year because they, they didn't have enough time. This last summer they did, and, uh, the, the new farmer, um, unfortunately, um, all the other farmers who used to be working are getting very old, and therefore they can no longer work. So a new guy came in, um, the son of a farmer who had actually just recently died, unfortunately. His son came in and bought a whole bunch of new equipment and are, is making the farm so much better than it previously was because all the equipment we used to have was breaking down. And one of them, and specifically that he bought that was my favorite, was this baler here. Yeah, well, actually, he bought a baler very similar to this one, um, pretty much the same exact baler. Um, this baler versus the real life one is a little bit different, and when I actually buy this baler, I will show you the differences. Uh, but this is his new baler and his new John Deere tractor he bought. Uh, but yes, yes, uh, uh, yeah. He uses this one, and he was working on our fields and stuff like that, so that was, that was uh, pretty interesting. I wanted to view how he uh, did our fields. And then he also bought one of these, uh, made by Kubota. Um, not Pottinger. I don't know if Pottinger is a real company, actually. He, may, he did one by Pottinger, or bought one by uh, Kubota. Kubota. He bought one by Kubota and uh, did our fields this year with that. Uh, but this year, he did not use the forklift John Deere tractor uh, on our fields. He actually used a different tractor, which I'm not sure of the, the company it's made by. Uh, 
but yes, that is just some real life farming stuff for you uh, that I see outside my house in the summer, uh, which is very fun and exciting. We don't need those on, I guess. Uh, let's see what our fellow farmer over here is doing with our field. He is getting pretty far. Uh, she is getting pretty far on our field here. Hopefully uh, in the next episode or tomorrow maybe we can actually get working on this field and we can get that field over there planted and everything. But yes, that is going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out so very, very much. Until next time, please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.